You only have one wedding day, so make sure it's exactly what you want it to be. Hi guys, this is Amy Rizzuto of Amy Rizzuto Photography, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to deal with unwanted opinions surrounding your wedding day. If you're currently a bride or you've gotten married recently, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think I found my wedding dress. Oh my gosh, what? It's a ball gown. I don't think I do a ball gown. I, mermaids look way better. I talked to my photographer and I think Matt and I are going to see each other before the wedding day. Oh my gosh. It takes away all the magic. That would be awful. I just finished making our wedding invitations today. Look at how cute they are. They have our picture on them and everything. You can't use this. This is way too informal. Actually, I have it on me. <laughs> First envelope. Return address, open to the second envelope. Second envelope is very important. Open to the letter, paste piece of paper on top of the letter, then to your formal invitation in black and white only with a very simple border. Return envelope. <laughs> and make sure people fill it out correctly. Tradition is just completely underrated. Sound familiar? I know it does to me. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to deal with these unwanted opinions. The most important thing you and your fiancé can do is appear as a united team. When you first get engaged, sit down with your fiancé and talk about what you want your wedding to look like. Are you going to be getting married inside or outside? Do you want a band or a DJ? A seated dinner or a buffet? Knowing what you want for your wedding day and appearing as a united team will show people that you're planning your wedding together and will help cut down on some of those unwanted opinions. I hope this has helped. This is Amy Rizzuto of Amy Rizzuto Photography, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.